So we are waiting here um, to be rescued in honor of them. So. And when you say you're waiting here to be rescued, mm -hmm. what, what does that mean? For us, that means um, having a mogul, which is a political figure or a celebrity, um, someone who has um, influence and power, to come up here and say that they support this and they're ready to stand with us and push for this to be an important issue because it, it really hasn't been. For 23 years now, this war has gone in Uganda and no one's really paid attention to it. So. Um, Andriana. Andriana, what's your last name? Nazarian. Nazarian. And what are you doing here today? Um, I'm volunteering for Invisible Children. And what is that? Um, it's an organization to spread worldwide about Joseph Cooney. All night. All night? Yeah, we're waiting for the media to show up, and if they show up, we get to go home, but the volunteers get to stay. Good for but you. But if they don't come, we just, all night. All right. Woo. Okay, thank you. being abducted and this is the LRA camp and we're trying to bring what's happening in Africa to you know to the quote unquote modern world okay. and we're trying to show that no matter like where in the world that everyone should be equal and that all kids should be equal. So this is about the kids? It's or about like all injustice everywhere, and this is just a small example, really. Uh, what's your name? Olivia. Olivia what? Hoffman. Are you planning on staying for a little while? Yeah. I'm trying to stay until you show up, the media. Okay. Thanks for coming. What's your name? My name is Tracy Brooks. Tracy, what's happening? Today we have a wonderful um, presentation by many of our students around the Capital Region who are standing up to bring attention and draw attention to the plight of the children of Uganda. They have 100% on their own set up this great rescue, which is one of 100 happening throughout the world, 75 of them occurring here in the United States. What's happening is we had a march starting up in Washington Park that represented the march of the children who were stolen from their um, villages. They were brought down here to the encampment at the East Capitol Steps and they're awaiting our elected officials to come and rescue them. Our students are lucky enough, we know we have elected officials who will come here and rescue them today. But the children of Uganda, they don't know that they'll be rescued. They may be put in to the armies and that will steal their childhood forever. So our, ch our students in the capital region want to draw awareness and attention to the plight of the children of Uganda and that's how they're doing it. And many of our students here from the Albany Academies are forgoing their prom to be a part of this national and international demonstration. To educate our public officials about what's happening in Uganda and ask them to use their voices, to educate the press and the media, to draw more light and attention and to praise the students who are standing up to be a part of a global community who care about the citizens around the world and want to show our communities here at home what difference we can make. solar panel in this black seat, uh, suit, but uh, it is a pleasure being here on behalf of the Senator. Uh, I'm her regional director, and uh, as you know, the state is big, and uh, when the Senator sends her representative, that means that it's a special event to her. And she asked me, uh, thank you all for your leadership. You know, when we talk about all the things that are happening in the world today, uh, and, and the role that, that our country and our democracy plays around the world, it's very, very important to, to uh, uh, really portray a positive face. And really what you're doing, doing is really the most effective, uh, 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 you're really the most effective ambassadors that we have. 
uh, you know, we have children over in Uganda that I don't have to tell you, you know, they, they have no hope, you know, there's, there's no real faith. And you really are providing a face to those folks, to those children over here in our country, so people like your lawmakers and others that might be able to make a difference uh, are you know, become more aware. So uh, I just really, on behalf of the Senator, wanted to thank you for all of your efforts. I know that you have folks here from Siena and, and Albany Academy and other schools that are really uh, could be doing something else today. You know, it's my understanding that you're skipping out on a prom and that uh, you know, there's some fun days going on. But you know, those things come and go. And, yeah, there's some memories. We were just talking about that a minute ago. Yeah, what you're doing now really lasts a lifetime. And if you can think, if you can save one child, two children, or three children, or however many, uh, where they can go on and, and do other things in life and make, uh, make the world a better place. That's really what it's all about. So really on behalf of the Senator, I wanted to thank you and, uh, and I also wanted to know, wanted you know that the purple flag there they were explaining is uh, part of that is making sure that your elected officials are aware and partner with you on helping to, uh, help, you know, helping with the cause. And I just want to let you know that your U.S. Senator is really the top rung in that purple uh, flag and that you've accomplished that goal. You don't get any, any further up than the U.S. Senate and, and the administration. So on behalf of the Senator, she has your message. She's hopefully looking forward to seeing you when you come down to D.C. And thank you very, very much for your leadership. Keep up the good work. So be proud of what you, you're doing today and what you've done. Give yourself a round of applause. This is my fourth outfit for the day, you guys. But I, I wanted I, I would have come dressed out a little bit more, but I have a couple other events downtown that necessitates a tie. So I had to, my mother always told me to look good. And you guys look pretty good for being here for a while. Who wants to go take off? And what? You want to leave here? No. So I don't have to rescue you, right? I, don't, I came here to rescue you guys, right? Yeah, we need you, you need a new rescue? Okay. okay. I'll tell you, I've been the mayor here, it's over 15 years, and uh, this is probably one of the most important events that I've, I've attended, and I, I really congratulate each and every one of you for doing it. You guys deserve a lot of credit. I really, really mean that. So, you know, are you going to read this with me, or are you going to read it alone? Okay, yeah, it's up to you. Come on. What were you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Yeah. College kids don't sleep. Oh, it's your weekend too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Good for you. Good for you. Let's go. There are those who expect the unexpected, those who cast their vote for hope, those who believe that good will triumph over evil. We are those people. We are the masses, misfits, moguls, media, millennials, doing what we can now with what we have, our voice. Our impact is only limited by our willingness to change. We are abducting ourselves to pose the question to our leaders. Is their life as valuable as mine? We are shaping human history by closing the divide between resources and responsibility, distance and disinterest, awareness and action. This is about redefining our role in the world, putting purpose before profit. It's about ending the longest running war in Africa, setting a precedent for justice, and finishing what was started. We are here to amplify the chorus of their cries and rescue Joseph Coney's child soldiers. Thank you. Thank you. 